Hi, I'm Claire, also known as Blondie Builder. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own macrame curtain tie bags, Blondie Builder style. Now these were really simple to make. I've used double hitch knots most of the way and added some bling with some silver twine. Here's how I made them. I picked up this white cord in the middle aisle of Aldi, believe it or not, when I was doing my food shop. And that's when I had the vision to make this design. You can choose to make these in any colour or thickness of cord that you like. Here's an example of some in black, slightly thinner. For the bling, I picked up the silver twine off Amazon. I began by measuring out lengths of approximately one metre and forming them in a zigzag pattern 12 times. I then cut four lengths that were three metres long. I gathered up the four lengths, found the halfway point and popped them over a rail to start making it. Then I took about a metre length of the silver twine and made my gathering knot. To do this, you make an upside down loop at one end and then, holding tightly onto everything, you wrap the twine round and round, working your way down the ropes. I did this approximately 15 times. When you get near the bottom, place the other end of the twine down through the loop and then let go and pull the top rope only up. This will make the knot disappear up inside the loops. Once you've pulled it up, you then pull the bottom end and then pull them both tightly together until it's nice and secure and trim the ends. To begin my design, I split the ropes in half so the eight became two fours and I worked on one side at a time. Starting with the left side, I split these again into two I made my first double hitch knot by taking the inside rope, wrapping it round the outside rope, round the back and up. Then I pulled the knot tight. That was my first hitch knot. This time I went in the other direction. So I took the outside rope, wrapped it round the inside, round the back and up. Next, I wanted to do a mirror image on the other side. So I moved the left ropes out of the way and with the right hand side, I repeated this process in a symmetrical way. So again, the inside rope went round the outside rope, round the back and up. Going in the other direction, this time the outside rope went round the inside and up. I spent a bit of time making sure all of the knots were secure and evenly spaced. Then I made a square knot. If you've watched my other curtain tie back video, you'll be a dab hand at making square knots. But if you've never made one before, let me just take you through the steps. I'm now working with the four middle ropes only. The rope on the right hand side will travel round the front to the left, while the rope on the left goes round the back to the right, forming a sort of triangle. The one round the back that's come to the right goes up through the gap, while the one on the left that's gone round the front goes down through the gap. Pull the ends tight and that is your square knot. It seems complicated at first, but it's easy once you've practiced. You've done the hardest bit. Now we go back to the double hitch knots reversing the pattern that we did in the beginning. Split your sections of rope back into two sides. You're going to make a double hitch knot on the left. With the outside rope, wrap it round the inside rope and up through the gap. Pull it tight. Now with the inside rope, wrap it round the outside and up. Pull it tight. And again, on the other side, Make a double hitch knot with the outside rope going round the inside 
and up. And pull it tight. Finally, with the inside rope, take them round the back and up. Now that's as hard as it gets. You're going to repeat this whole process over and over to finish the tie back. So now it's time for your gathering knot. As before, make an upside down loop, place it in front of the ropes and wrap the other end round and round, working your way down. Pull the top end, then the bottom end, and then both ends. At this stage, spend a little bit of time adjusting all of the ropes, pulling them through till you're happy with your pattern. Now begin again. Split the ropes into two sections. Start working on the left, making your double hitch knots. To begin with, the rope from the inside goes round the outside and up. The next one will go in the opposite direction, which means the ropes on the outside go round the ropes on the inside. Now we move over to the other set of ropes and do the same in a mirror image. Therefore, the ropes on the inside go round the outside and up. Then, the ropes on the outside go round the inside and up. Working with only the four middle ropes, we make a square knot. The rope in the right goes round the front to the left, and the rope in the left goes round the back to the right. The one at the back comes up through the gap and the one at the front goes down through the gap. Pull the knot tight and that's your square knot. Continuing on, we're working on the left hand set of ropes. Making a double hitch knot, the ropes on the outside go round the inside and make a knot. Then, the ropes on the inside go round the outside to make a knot. Moving over to the right side, again, the ropes on the outside go round the inside ropes and up. Then, the ropes on the inside go round the outside and up. Repeat the pattern until you have the desired length of curtain tie back. To finish, I took a rubber band and popped it round nice and tightly where I wanted the last gathering knot to be. I formed a loop with the four longest lengths remaining and tucked them back into the rubber band. Then I used super glue to stick together all of the ends around the rubber band. 
You can also use a glue gun if you have one. And this is now looking nice and solid and stuck together so I'm going to trim the ends and then we're going to finish it off with a nice neat knot to hide it all, just the same as the rest. So I'm going to make a gathering knot, like what we've been doing all the way down, and I'm hoping this will hide the mess of the tails. So I'm just going to carefully make sure I'm covering all the bits I want to cover. Now for the very final bit, I used my super glue again to just glue where the ends were cut and hidden under the silver twine. This is because the silver twine is quite slidey on top of this type of rope. I didn't want it to come loose, so this ensured this would hold it in place. Here is the final product. And as I mentioned, you can make it out of any colour or thickness of cord. Here it is in a thinner cord in black. My daughter and I made this on the floor instead of hanging it on a rail. Well, cheers if you made it to the end. Well done for making your macrame curtain tie bags, Blondie Builder style. I hope they look good in your house and you enjoyed making them. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more creative ideas and design styles that I have made and would love to share with you. Thank you for watching.